2015, Buhari pampered the Yorubas until they gave him uh, the extra votes he needed to become president of Bin Nangu Susis. <laughs> now, wow. So, and that is true. Um, Buhari, um, you know, campaigned and uh, contested for almost three or four times and he lost and he was even crying to the point he said that if he doesn't become president he will make nigeria ungovernable okay so i know though somebody had to advise him to go and align with the yorubas and align with tunubu and he pampered them and begged them cried to them until they gave him vote uh, they supported him to become the president now look at where he has put nigeria and that is what obi namosu is saying okay Obi Namusu, who was the youngest House of Reps candidate, candidate in the Abia state in the concluded 2023 elections in the state, has made his tweet on his official Twitter handle by reflecting on the past, especially on how the then president of Nigeria, Muhammad Obari, got the attention of the Yorubas in 2015 so that they could vote for him. Recall that Buhari won this particular election and also went on to rule the country for another eight years okay for another four years okay making eight years the statement of the politician as regards this reads in 2015 Buhari the Yorubas until they gave him the extra votes he needed to become president his decision to pick a redeemed pastor as his running maid was a stroke of genius he concluded by saying that in 2023, Tinubu pampered Northerners until they declared him president. He's, I am not living here until Erufai accepts to be my minister, was a stroke of genius. A major challenge Igbo's face in Nigeria, Nigerian politics is not knowing how to play the game of deception, uh, which is proven to be a key part of politics in Nigeria. Can you imagine? That is what uh, this guy is saying. Uh, <laughs> so, Obi Nangosu. Okay. The, the uh, Buhari pampered Yorubas and got what he wanted. Uh, Tinubu pampered Aosas, especially by deceiving Erufai, and then got what he wanted. Igbos uh, are not playing the politics of deception or game of deception. That is why they cannot be president of Nigeria today but is, is it good to play the game of deception how long will you continue to deceive people even though deception is key part of politics in nigeria is it supposed to be like that should we continue in that part that's a big question to answer okay so don't tell us that you are going to play game of deception as well because it will not help anybody in 2015 Buhari the yoruba that is the tweet itself until they gave him the extra votes he needed to become president. His decision to pick a redeemed pastor as running maid was a stroke of genius. In 2023, Tinubu pampered Northerners until they declared him president. His, I am not living here until Erufai accepts to be my minister, was a stroke of genius. A major challenge Igbo's face in Nigeria politics not, is not knowing how to uh not knowing how to play the game of deception which is proving to be a key part of politics in nigeria hmm so that's exactly what uh, this young man is saying obi nangosu okay so igbos are not succeeding because they're not playing game of deception which is an integral part of uh, nigerian politics somebody said until igbos delete barbaric mentality of knowing it all and uncontrollable hatred for other Nigerians, they will always take back seat in Nigerian politics. What Igbos are enjoying in another in another state, they don't allow others the same in their land. If you are talking of deceit, I think Igbos are number one on the list of deceptive people. Can you imagine this is must be a Yoruba by God that is saying this? And somebody has told him, God bless you for being percent hundred percent correct but it's that they are just themselves deceiving themselves okay those that you and your people have been putting with your monkey sense how far Buhari from north how far Tinubu from southwest how far yes now 
animals. So the Igbos are not playing game of deception now. That is what is making them to be back to be. And you are saying Igbos are deceptive. So the ones you have voted in, how far? Look at the product. Are you enjoying it? That's the question you should answer. Someone said, Buhari picked Igbos as his running mate two times, but Igbos never voted for Buhari because you people always think on a wise pass anybody. Can you imagine? Tell them, let them know it. And these are Jagabandists, all of them are coming here. Then he picked a Yoruba man and the Yoruba voted him into power. So how market now? Eh? He reduced uh, Ushibanjo, a who professor, to a houseboy. Abi, you don't build a nation on the seat. Okay, be who you are till eternity. And that is what somebody is saying here. So Igbos will continue to remain the way they are, no problem, rather than coming to power by deceit. Okay? You don't build a nation by deceit. Be who you are to eternity. Okay? But you can do your business with deceit, right? Bunch of hypocrites. Can you imagine? What kind of business are they doing with deceit? Okay? Remove Igbos in Nigeria, and I tell you, entrepreneurial activities will die. Remove Igbos from business, from entrepreneurial activities in Nigeria, and it will die. If Igbo decide to leave Lagos, Lagos will definitely crash. What are they doing? Who who holds the business in Lagos? It's only the Igbos. Why people are making noise there is because they know that Igbos will not leave their business and leave Lagos. That is it. Yeah, Buhari took the pastor as only mate, but eventually incapacitated him after winning the election. So it's a good point, brother. That is Nigerian politics for you. Use loyalty method to gain what you want. After gaining what you want, you can as well turn yourself to tiger <laughs> or turn your normal nature. It is called deception. <laughs> it is called deception. Igbos, you always think you are more wiser than the remaining tribes. This is where the problem with you can you imagine. Every individual has his own sense, not if, uh, depend how you apply it. Okay? If you continue like this, Mm, it will take you time, more uh, more time to go. I don't see that guy right. I don't understand. Yeah. So the fact remains that uh, 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 Obi Nangosu here is saying Igbos are not president because they are not playing the game of deception, which is the integral part of Nigerian politics today. But again, the people that played the game of deception got what they wanted. The question is, how have they succeeded? Where have they put Nigeria today? That has proven that deception is not good to be part of any nation or anybody's life. Okay? Uh, Buhari deceived the Yorubas and got presidency. How was his eight years of reign? It was trouble all the way, bloodshed all the way. Tilubu has deceived the Aosas to get presidency. Just 70 days in the office. How is it now? It's even worse than the eight years of Buhari. So what do you have to say about that? Okay, so again, anything done by deception will die by deception. And that is why even Tinubu's presidency right now, Tinubu does not even have the courage to move to Asorok to stay. He's still staying in Lagos because he knows that he's not too sure of himself because he knows he came to power in a four, on four, platform of falsehood, on platform of deception, and may not uh, sustain it for long. So thank you for listening, and let's have your comment.